Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Shailesh from Informatica ILM team. Today we are going to see installation of ILM Data Archive 6.1. ILM Data Archive tool is used to archive non-frequently used production data to other online database or to optimize file system to improve the performance and for better space management of your production database. This video covers demo of step-by-step -step installation of ILM 6.1. To install ILM 6.1, Java 1.6 or later version needs to be installed on the server. Once you download and extract ILM installers, you will see following files. There will be two ILM installer files, ILM installer.exe and ILM installer.bin. ILM installer.exe will be used for Windows installation whereas ILM installer.bin will be used for Unix installation. For Windows installation, double click on ILM installer.exe, click on the run, it will prepare to install. Click on the next. It will show two options, install data archive which will be the fresh installation and second is upgrade from previous version. Select the appropriate option, click on the next. It will ask for the license key file, just provide the license key file which you have downloaded, click on the next. Then it will ask you for the installation location where you want to install ILM 6.1, provide the location and click on the next. Here there are two options, data archive and data visualization. Data visualization needs to be installed only if you are planning to archive to optimize file system. Under data archive, there are three subcomponents, ILM engine and repository. This will install ILM binaries and will create repository tables. The second option, file archive loader and discovery, will be installed only if you are planning to archive to optimize file system. And third option, file archive service for external attachments will be installed only if you want to archive your external attachments to optimize file system. Select the appropriate option and click on the next. Now it will ask whether ILM repository already exists or not. If you have created ILM repository schema, that is AIM home schema already in the database, then select this option, otherwise leave it blank and click on the next. Then it will ask you for the database details for your AM home. Give the appropriate details, the database URL. The host and port on which database is running the login name for system user, system user password and then service name and click on the test connection. If the connection is su successful it will take you to the next screen where you have to provide the AM home schema and its password. Now there is an option called create table space. ILM installation will need two table spaces under which it will create repository tables and indexes. If you have already created table spaces for ILM, then unselect this checkbox and give table spaces name. If not, then select the create table space checkbox and give table space details to create the table spaces. Then you have to give the file location. then the file location for index table space and click on the next then click on the install and it will start installing the installation takes some time to create the user the aim home user 
and the table space is AM data table space and AM index table space and to copy the binaries to the specified location. Once the installation done, it will be configured for your system. Once it is successful, it will show a following screen. Click on the done and now your RM6.1 is installed. For more information, you can download installation guide from mysupport.informatica.com. If you have any queries, please contact us at supportvideos at informatica.com or twitter.com slash infasupport. Thank you.